The TED-BF program is all set to achieve its first major milestone in the next five months, as the Aeronautical Development Agency will be submitting a preliminary design review for the TED-BF by March 2023. The preliminary design review will mean that the TED-BF program has achieved technical maturity, and the risk reduction phase has been concluded. After the completion of the preliminary design review phase, the TED-BF will move towards a critical design review, that will be achieved by end of 2024. In order to avoid delays, the Aeronautical Development Agency is planning to seek approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security by mid of 2023, instead of waiting for completion of the critical design review phase in 2024. The rollout of the first TED-BF is planned in late 2025, and the first flight by end of 2026. The project director of AMCA program has said, that the AMCA will be comparable to other global fifth-generation fighter jets such as American F-35 Lightning II and the Russian Su-57. He also said, that the AMCA Mark I will have around 75% indigenous content, which will increase to 90% for AMCA Mark II. The Aeronautical Development Agency will move to Cabinet Committee on Security for 15,000 crore rupees funding approval in early 2023, and there will be separate funding for the development of new 120 kN thrust engine for the AMCA Mark II program, that the DRDO will develop with a foreign engine manufacturer. In an interesting development, Private sector firm JSR Dynamics Private Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with Munitions India Limited for co-production for supply to Indian Armed Forces and international market. JSR Dynamics has been granted authorization by Munitions India Limited to sell their manufactured products in Myanmar. JSR Dynamics is also at an advanced stage of developing a 324mm guided rocket that will have a range of 300 km and the company has already signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Economic Explosives Limited for Warheads. Indian drone manufacturer John Net Technologies is developing a high-altitude long-endurance strategic unmanned combat aerial vehicle known as JF-5, that is capable of conducting wide area surveillance, time-sensitive strike missions over land and sea, and a host of other challenging military missions. The JF-5 will have a wingspan of 22 meters, and will weigh around 5,600 kilograms, and will be able to carry electro-optic payload, and communications intelligence and electronic intelligence sensors. It will be powered by turboprop engine, and will have a maximum flight altitude of 40,000 feet and an operational range of 8,500 kilometers. Mohindra Defence Systems Limited has developed a 4x4 light specialist vehicles variant with 120mm motors, making it the world's lightest motor carrier system, that provides high mobility capabilities to fighting units. It is equipped with an electromechanical aiming system to provide fast and accurate orientation. The vehicle can deploy the motor and aim the target in 30 seconds, and re-aims it automatically in 5 seconds. Indian drone manufacturer Indio Air has showcased its NIRAF hybrid vertical takeoff and landing UAV to state delegates and industrialists at the Dubai Halle Show 2022. The NIRAF UAV is specifically designed for logistics and delivery applications, and it has a maximum speed of 120 km per hour, a range of 35 km, and can carry a payload of 7 kg. It features precision landing and low noise, and does not require a runway catapult or parachute, that increases the flexibility of operations. Oh,